Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to a brand new a tutorial and let's build whatever you want to call it. Now today, boys and girls, we're going to be building a little modern house. And before we start anything, if you could please leave a like on this video, it truly does help me out and I would really appreciate your faces. Anyways, we got a little plot in front of us right here and we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 going this way. And then on the back, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and nine blocks going this way okay so we got 12 going down and then nine going back making a 12 by 9 little rectangle square thingy materials we're going to be using we got some stripped oak wood we got some smooth quartz blocks we got some smooth quartz slabs some oak slabs we got some light blue stained glass a little bit different i know i know i know we got some white stained glass panes and some sprucey wood trapdoors now as per usual there will be a few more materials, but we'll get to those a little bit later in the video. Starting off, though, with our stripped oak wood. We're going to jump to the right-hand side of our plot and jump one block diagonal. And on the second block diagonal, place our first block. A bam. A little something like a soul. We're then going to take it back to the left by seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seventh block will be eight blocks going that way. So we should have eight little strip blocks looking a little something like this. Now going back, we're going to take this one, two, three, four and five mm -hmm. now going the other way one two three four five six and seven and joining up with another four blocks a little something something like that we can actually now go in and grab a little floor material didn't really think about this at first but we're going to use birch planks and we're just going to fill this in in the center and this is going to be the material that's going to be uh, on the inside of the house not on the outside we can now remove that because it is not needed but this is what we should have from above now going back to our first corner once again grabbing our strip hook wood we're going to place one two three four and five blocks high or something like this on this corner back here again one two three four and five little blocks we're now going to jump two blocks place one two three and also raise these by four making them five in height this is what we should have we should also do this on the front okay so jump two blocks one two three one two three one two three and all the way towards the top making them five blocks in height on the right-hand side of the build, we're going to be grabbing the strips, and we're just going to completely fill this wall in with these blocks. Nothing's going to be on this side. Well, there will be, but not actually on the structure itself. So this is what we got going just here. In these two two-block sections, we're going to place one and two, or something like this, and then one and two. Absolutely perfect. Now we're going to be moving on to placing some light blue stained glass panes. All right. Now, from this block here, we're going to place one and two, and uh, bring these up two more, making them three in height, a little something like so. We're then going to jump to this side. We're going to place one, two, three, four, and five, leaving a little one block gap. And we're also going to bring these up two more blocks, making them three in height. And this is going to be uh, kind of like the front door entrance, but it's also going to act as some windows, of course, letting a lot of light in. We're now going to jump to our two block windows, and we're going to place ourselves one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to add two little stripped oak logs on the top, make a little two by three window. We're also going to jump to the back of the house and do exactly the same. So one, two, three, and four, five to the six. Two stripped oak wood on the top. Bam. Perfect. Now on top of our little door entrance, we're going to be placing some stripped oak wood. We're pretty much just going to completely cover the top of this window section with uh, stripped oak wood. Uh, we're going to have to place a block here because otherwise they don't get a place. And then we're just going to go ahead and add another layer, making that layer two blocks in height. And this is what we're working with so far. Now, for the ceiling, we're going to be using some oak wood slabs and we're just going to place one, two, three, four, and then bring it all the way back, completely filling in our roof with these oak wood slabs. I know slabs are sometimes a little bit of weird material to use for roofs, but for this house, I promise you, it's going to work. Now, we're going to be using our smooth quartz blocks. We're going to jump to the first kind of block we placed. Jump one block diagonal away. Place one, two, three, four, five, six. And place ourselves a smooth quartz block on top of that, just like a so. Then from the bottom here, we're going to leave one, two, three, and four. On the fifth block, place a smooth quartz and bring it up by four. One, two, three, four. Making this five in height. And add another one, two, three, four, and five just in front of it, like this. Now bring this along. One, two, three, and four five, six, seven, and eight blocks of smooth quartz. Then we're going to grab it again, and we're just going to place one single smooth quartz block um, on this little back block just here. We can then grab ourselves our smooth quartz slabs, and from this slab block we placed just a second ago, place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a nine. And this should kind of reside perfectly on top of this little quartz block we just placed. Now we can take this back, one, two, three, four, four five, six, and seven, so it's overlapping one and we're going to bring this all the way around and connect it to our other side and it should match up completely perfectly um, and give us this nice little kind of border around the top of the house. 
Now with our quartz slabs, once again, from this block just here, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and take this along the back of the house too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this time, we're going to bring it out by three blocks. One, two, and three. We're now going to take this back. One, two, three, four, and five, leaving a little one block gap. And then we can raise this two blocks forward, um, giving us this little overhang at the side. Perfect. Now we're going to be using our oakwood slabs. Once I go in, we're going to jump to the kind of door entrance. We're going to be placing one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're then going to grab a stripped oak wood log and place one just like this. And then we can place another little oak slab on the other side and another two just behind this. We're then going to grab our white stained glass panes and place one on top, two, and three, connecting it to this quartz block just above. Just to kind of add another little pillar. It also kind of adds to the detail and it gives, it gives it a more sturdy little look. Grabbing our slabs once again of oak and bringing it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then placing another eight blocks just in front like a soul. Then we can jump to the back and we're going to take this along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten blocks. Once again, placing another ten in front, making sure it's two blocks in width. This is what we should be having. What do you guys think of this house so far? I think it's pretty cute as houses go. Now we're going to go ahead and grab a few little decoration materials. We're going to be grabbing, let's see, some spruce leaves. We're also going to need some composters. I know, a little bit weird, but you will see what that is for. We're going to grab some jungle trapdoors and some chain blocks. Where'd they be hiding? Perfect. We can also go in and grab ourselves some water and some path blocks. I know you can use a shovel, but hey, a little bit easier in creative because we do have the blocks themselves. First things first, on the realist in this little window section we're going to remove one two three and four blocks of grass and we're also going to remove the blocks under um the kind of blocks at the side of this and just replace them with the corresponding blocks above because we are going to be placing some water inside of this and then we're going to place one i didn't even have the block in my hand one two three and four spruce wood leaves a little something like a soul now heading round to the back of the house we're going to grab our composters and uh under this window just here we're going to remove one two three and four place ourselves some composters and place some spruce leaves on top of these giving us this nice little planter around the side of the house we're going to grab our chains we're going to place one block in one jump two blocks away place another chain and we're going to hang some spruce leaves from that just like this we could even go ahead and place some jungle trapdoors under these making these nice little swinging planters absolutely perfecto on the side of the house we're going to be adding a little swing first we can place a chain one block in from our quartz slabs Bam, we can jump one block and place another chain, a little something like a so. We can then bring these down, one and two, one and two, making the chains three blocks down. Then one, two, three, little jungle trapdoors, making ourselves at this little swing. And I think this is probably one of the nicest features on the house. It just adds a lot to the details. Now we need to go in and grab ourselves some coarse dirt because we can't actually place any path blocks under the swing just because uh, the way the trap doors are placed. So we're just going to place one, two, and three coarse dirt. And then we're going to grab our path blocks. We're going to place one and two just in here. Another one like this. Um, you're probably going to want to remove the blocks behind and just kind of replace them with the block above just because the path blocks do leave that kind of little gap. And for me personally, it annoys me so much. But hey, some people don't actually look at things in that much detail, so it doesn't really matter. We're then going to be removing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks, replacing these with our paths, removing this little guy, bam, and replacing it with a slab. Then a grass path once again, one, two, three, four, and five blocks going this way, connecting to this quartz pillar at the front of the house, removing you and replacing that with this. What do you guys think? We can now go in and grab ourselves some stone blocks, a little something like this, and jump to our little door entrance. With these three little slab blocks, we're going to jump one block away, remove one, two, and three. And we're going to do this another few times until pretty much you feel comfortable. Or maybe you have like a road in front of the house and this little kind of like front garden path reaches that. I'll take it out one more just for the sake of it. But this is what we got going on. Now the outside of the house is pretty much complete. So now it's time to go on the inside and place some interior. Okay, a few blocks I got for the interior of this house. We got a crafting table. Oh yeah, we got a furnace, we got a white bed, we got a chest, a jungle trapdoor, a beehive, which is probably my favorite interior block at the moment. They just look like little drawers, and I love the bits. We got a lantern, and we got some smooth sandstone slabs. First things first, we're going to be moving one and two blocks at the back of our house under the back window. We're going to place ourselves a furnace and a crafting table just behind this, and our white bed on top, a little something like a this. Next to this, we can place ourselves a little chest, a bam, and above the chest, let's just do, uh, let's see, one, two little jungle trapdoors. We can then place ourselves a beehive on top, something like so, and a lantern on the uh, trapdoor next to this. 
which admits a lot of light into the room. Once again, with our jungle trapdoors next to our chest, one and two, we can then place a little smooth sandstone slab in front of the first trapdoor. A little chair for our desk. Now, we can go in, um, we're going to grab, let's just see, let's do a little smooth sandstone maybe. Um, we can then do some, hmm, we want to do some andesite. And I'm also, it's going to be a bit weird, um, we're going to grab some dead coral because they're dead. I got an idea. Now, one block away from our bed, we're going to place this little smooth sandstone stair, a little something like this. We can now remove one, two, three, four, five, um, and six. Can we do this? Oh, yeah, we can, which that actually works really well. So let's place the andesite in like so. And we're just going to place the coral on top of this, making this really, really nice little rug design, which I think looks absolutely perfect for this house. Then on this wall, let's place ourselves a jungle trap door on the second block up. Uh, we can then place ourselves a spruce leaf on top of this and a chain like this. And I know it's not going to connect completely because of the slabs, but you can't really notice it from down here. So it don't matter too much. So I'm going to leave it because... <laughs> Why the hell not? Um, next, 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 next. Let's grab ourselves some paintings and a little birch sign. Place the birch signs on the sides of this little uh, stair to make an armchair. Then above this, we're going to place our paintings. We need a full block. Um, and let's do, let's do this. Um, let's find one painting. What do we want to go for? Yeah, we can do that one. And then, oh, I need to place that back. We're going to place another one above this. But we need to find a different painting to the one we placed below. Hmm, there is another one I'm thinking of. But which one is it, though? I don't know. That one should work. I think we had that before, but they do look pretty good together. Now, over on this section, let's place a block here and here. And we can find the little fruits. Where are they be hiding? Come on. I know. There we go. That didn't take too long. Um, and then we're going to head on to the redstone area. We're going to grab some black, uh, blackstone pressure plates. Um, and then a polished blackstone button. We're going to place the pressure plate in front of the painting. And the button on the side trap door facing sideways. And we got ourselves a little computer, which I think looks absolutely amazing. Um, now we're going to grab ourselves an armor stand, and we're going to place that in our far back corner. And that, boys and girls, is the interior completed. There is one more thing we're going to be adding to this house, and that is a little swimming pool. For this, we're going to be using, okay, some smooth quartz stairs, some smooth quartz blocks, some light blue concrete, and some water buckets. First, we're going to jump from this spruce leaf. One, two, and three blocks. We're going to remove one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks in the ground, and replace these with facing inwards. Um, quartz stairs, like so. We're now going to remove one, two, three, and four from each end of this. One, two, three, and four. Turn the stairs inwards facing and place one, two, three, four of those carrying on. Now we can break ourselves one, two, three, and four blocks in the center of these and connect them at this side also. So from above, we got this. We should have three blocks by four blocks in the center. We're now going to remove these grass blocks in the middle and let's dig ourselves. Hmm. Another two blocks down. I think that should be enough for the swimming pool. I'm on a bedrock world anyway, so, uh, you know, if I dig down, I'm falling through the void into the abyss, and I'm pretty dead. So we're going to place light blue concrete just under here. Then we're going to go around the sides, remove these, and replace them with our smooth quartz blocks, making sure everything is flush and looking nice and pretty from above. The swim pool be looking like a soul. Now of our water buckets, you guessed it, we're just going to be filling this in. Um, and then we can also fill uh, the water on top of the stairs, which is a really nice feature given to us in the aquatic update. Uh, it's a little bit tedious, but I'm just trying to make it so it's perfect. Because sometimes they overflow and it goes weird. Um, but I think that works, right? I do like that indeed. Last thing we're going to be doing is going in and grabbing ourselves some oak wood buttons, I think. And we're just going to place a few of these randomly around the path. Uh, let's do them the other way. Or something like this. And uh, I don't know. They just kind of look, look alrighty, I guess. Like this. Oh, yeah, baby. And that, boys and girls, is this house complete. And holy moly, I almost forgot about two of the most important details on the house. We're going to be grabbing some bamboo and some spruce trapdoors. And my God, I would have kicked myself in the shins if I went to edit this and forgot about placing it. these. Uh, so with the bamboo, we're going to be placing these under this row of quartz slabs on this side. So we're placing one, two, three, four, five, and I think it's six, right? And that should match up directly. And we're going to bring these all the way to the top. Uh, bam, 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 bam. And this, like I said, the swing was probably my favorite part, but this side of the house in general was probably my favorite part of this house because now look, my God, does that look so cool. I just really, really like the way the bamboo uh, adds such a vibrant splash of like color to the house um, and act as these little like supports. And it's very, very modern. Very, very modern indeed. Um, spruce trap doors. We're going to grab uh, these and head to this front window. We're going to place one and two, okay, below, and one and two just above. Or something like a soul. 
We're then gonna head onto the inside and on the edge of this trapdoor, place one, two, and three. Flick this up. And on the other side, we're gonna turn around and place one, two, and three. And also flick these up because now from a distance, we've got this awesome little, uh, what would you call it? It's not a window frame because it's not, well, yeah, I guess it is. Either way, looks pretty fantastic. And with that being done, the house is completed. If you did enjoy this video, do subscribe for more content just like this. Press the like button if you haven't already. It really does help me out. I love your faces and I'll see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye guys.